Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in the Selenite series, today we are going to talk about how to handle select-based dropdown. What do you mean by this? Select-based dropdown means those dropdown which is having HTML tag as select tag. For example, let's see, this is a country dropdown on this application on orangehrm.com, you can see. And you inspect this uh, country dropdown over here. And here the HTML tag you will see select tag then only this option will work that we are going to cover today. So you open this select tag and there are a number of option tags that you can see option tag means these country options are available with the option tag right. So what are the different ways we can handle this scenario and what are the different methods are available in Selenite to handle the select based drop down. Okay, I'm talking about only and only select tag based drop down. It means the HTML tag should be select tag. Then only this formula will work. So what we have to do, it's very straightforward. In Selenium WebDriver, what we used to have, we used to have select uh, class to handle the select based uh, class, uh, select based HTML tag drop downs. In Selenite, what you have to do, you just need to create the, okay, just create a web element on the basis of, for example, this ID X path or whatever. So I'm going to use a dollar and then I'm going to use by dot ID, which is ID available over here. And then you just simply write select. And there are three methods are available, select option. And this method is actually overloaded method. So here you can see select option method is available with, you can pass the integer, you can pass the, the specific visible text and then the by value also you can pass it over here. So let's see all these three options one by one. So for example, let's see, I'll say select by index, select index number two. It means whatever the drop down index number two is available. It means this is zero, this is one and this is two. Albania will be selected over here. Okay. So this is the first thing. Second thing that I say that uh, select by option. I mean select option and then by the visible text for example let's see from the country drop down I want to select India India is somewhere over here okay you can check that here this is India so select India so how will you do that it means select by visible text in the drop down India it means whatever the uh, India is available I mean this, this is called the visible text over here it means this is you pass directly here and then that's it and then the third option that we are going to talk about select option by value okay not select only option so select option by value it means it's a respective value that you can pass value means if you have any value attribute available for example now let's say i want to select uh, france okay so just copy this particular value whatever the value sometimes it's not compulsory that value is available if the value is available you can pass the value and this is called visible text so when you use this method right select option that time you have to pass the visible text and select option by value you have to pass whatever the value attribute is available let's see france and then i'll do one thing i'll put a thread dot sleep for uh, two seconds so that you will actually see that first it will select the index number two then india and then france here so let's see this is working or not so run as testng once the page is fully loaded see Albania and then after two seconds India and then it should select France and then after two seconds browser will be closed perfect so this is how you can directly validate like this okay now if I ask you you are not allowed to use any select tag then how will you do that so for doing this what we have to we have to collect all the options for example let's see I can say I can quickly create an xpath over here or any CSS selector for example let's see let's uh, create a CSS selector over here so this is my uh, select tag okay hash this one and then give me all the option tags so here you can see 232 option tags are available so you just copy this and then you try to collect in a list so in the previous video we have already seen how to collect number of elements we have to use driver.find elements but here in selenite we have to use double dollar over here so i'll write by dot for example css selector and this is my CSS selector that is there and then this double dollar will return what it will return elements collection and this element collection that you have to import selenite so you can see elements collection not element collection it's elements collection and then I'll do one thing that immediately I'll come over here and then I'll write okay fine you give me the total number of elements are available in this particular drop down and then what you do is you start a for loop here so here I can write as I told you that the this elements collection is a kind of array list. 
this will hold all the selenide element here and then e in this particular collection list and then what do you want to capture so i'll say okay fine e dot give me the text of each and every element and then do what you store in a string variable over here text like that and let's see now you want to select a specific value put a if condition and then you start text dot equals it means we are comparing we are capturing the text over here this text of afghanistan albania or something like this if it is equal to let's see for example angola and then angola you just select and then do what and then after that you simply click on it so simple write e dot click and then work you're done and then break the loop will this work let's see so let's run it and uh, let's see so first it will select second index then india then france and then it will start this logic and uh, let's see so the value okay albania then india then france and then it should start 232 links are available and select actually angolia it was very fast you could not see that so i'll do one thing let me just put thread dot leave once again so that you will actually see that okay and i'll do one thing i'll just print this particular text also on the console so that you will see that after angola it will not print anything because we are breaking the loop here so let's run it again and let's see the value got selected or not okay once again albania india france and see angola got selected and then done and here on the console you can see after angola it's not printing anything so this is another way of doing it without using the select html uh, without using what select option method these methods so not select html tags without using select option you just need to create the locator and that's it this is a way you can handle other uh, drop downs as well so today i'm just going to talk about only select based drop down we have direct methods are available so which one is better this logic is better or this direct method is available obviously this method is better because otherwise let's say you want to select out of 232 you have to select the 230th value it means the loop will start from 1 2 or 0 to 230 229 it means 229 unnecessary or looping and then the value will be selected so it is not that great for performance point of view so better you use these direct methods and then start using it that's it okay so that's all for this particular video please try with only and only these three methods will work where select so like html tag is available and without using select option method you can directly use with the help of driver.find elements iterate it match it and click and then break the loop that's it this might be an interview question also at a time of interview thank you so much guys that's all for this particular video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all